Beloved, last week I ended by urging us to introspect and empathize, to be honest with the person in the mirror. We all have dreams, ideals for a better life for ourselves. Consequently, we set expectations for ourselves and for those involved in our lives. However, we have those expectations often in isolation from the people we expect it from. In other words, we either fail to communicate or miscommunicate. We either talk at or past each other. Good communication involves listening. Listening with respect and consideration. Sharing your thoughts in a clear and loving manner. If you resort to shouting and screaming, you have lost self-control. As we know, self-control is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, always be measured in your approach to or engagements with other people. There's a Native American saying which goes as follows. It says, listen or your tongue will make you deaf. Peter exhorts us. He says, how can you say you love God whom you have not seen when you do not love your neighbor whom you have seen? Remember, love is patient and love is kind. Again, do not let your emotions control your actions. Maintain self-control. Stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.